welcome back everybody so to begin we're gonna head straight to the right and into the fog yeah come into this fog and head into it yes yeah, so there's not much left to this ending actually and um, so just gonna get through this get through the um, SS invincible uh, it's gonna be a few battles it's gonna go at quite a few levels near as well um, which is always a good thing So yeah, let's get through this dialogue and uh, you'll jump onto the ship. Yeah, probably going to get like two or three endings out of the way in this video, I hope. Uh, so you've got a battle to begin. Uh, the first battle is going to be with three Man of Wars. You should get through this pretty quickly. So yeah, get through this dialogue guys, beat up the first battle, and I'll pick it up just at the end of that first battle and explain the next one to you. Yeah, so you got him three mana for wars to begin with. Um, you don't get level from them, but you will get level from the next enemy. So yeah, go through the dialogue, now you're going to be fighting a poly. So beat up the poly and you'll go up another level. Yeah, level 70 should be after that. Yep, there we go, nice. Only 29 levels to go to get the level 99 trophy, of course. And then after that, you're going to fight Fargo. So beat up Fargo and we'll level up again afterwards. Yeah, level 71 that was. So yeah, after that, you're going to head up, you're going to end up inside the ship now. And it's going to be a battle to begin with. If you remember this, um, this little um, story event here, you have to find the key from the guards. And um, it's, it's a little bit random he's got the key. So we'll get past this uh, cutscene and I'll pick it up afterwards. Yep, so just beat up this this uh, normal mob. Yep, so you beat them up and then it begins. The quest to find the key. So come outside. And um, first you need to interact with this door. So yeah, you find the note. Key duty is a big responsibility. You need to interact with that door. Otherwise, the key sequence will not begin. And once you've done that, come in this door here. And then enter the vent at the top right. You'll probably remember this, but um, I'll go through it again just in case. Yep, and then um, through here. Right, talk to this big guy first, and then he should move out of the way, assuming you've interacted with that door at the bottom, and then talk to the skinny guy. Yep, now I spoke to the skinny guy, come back through this door. Now we need to start saving all the pirates, and one of them will drop a key randomly. So we'll go with this one first, just interact with the crossbones, beat up the crossbones and then make sure you remember to talk to the pirate afterwards. Yeah, make sure you don't forget. I have forgotten to talk to them afterwards a few times. But yeah, they're only sort of weak enemies, so it won't be too much difficulty to get rid of them. So yeah, he's gone already. Okay, so he's going to talk to the pirate afterwards. Hopefully he's going to have the key. Yep, so just chat with him. And he'll say, no, he doesn't have it. He did apologise though. Okay, so then you go back in the vent. And then the next pirate that's um, in distress. Just come over to his chest and then you'll get ambushed by a wraith. Beat up the wraith and then you can talk to the pirate in this room as well. Hopefully he's got the key. Yeah, so we've got them four bandits. Okay, give me some good news. Sorry I'm not in charge, but do you have the key? No, I guess not. Okay, so the next one you fight would be all the way to the left, the one up these steps. This one next. And what happens, once you've tried to get the key from all these different pirates, if you don't get it, go back up to that first pirate, um, not the first one, the skinny one. So you have the fat one which moved out of the way and then you talk to the skinny one in the corner. Go back and chat to him. And he should have the key. But you'd have to be really unlucky for one of these not to drop the key. So yeah, that's another battle. I'll talk to Pirate afterwards. Um, no, he doesn't have it either. Make sure you do exhaust his dialogue until he mentioned the key. So he doesn't have it. So next we're gonna go in this first room, I think it is. Oh no, sorry, the second room, ignore me. Yeah, second room next, sorry. 
And then talk to this guy. Oh shit, yeah, didn't mean to loot that. Yeah, you need to talk to the pirate first. And then the crossbones should come and try to attack you. Well, attack the pirate, then you can attack the crossbones. So this guy should have the key. If not, I'm going to have to go back up. I've not actually had a... Have the play through this yet, where I haven't got a key from at least one of these um, pirates. I've never had to go back up to the key to the main guy, the guy in charge. Right. Yep, he's got it. So he's got a key. Last one had the key. So if he does, doesn't have it, go back up and talk to the, um, one of the first guys. Okay, so once you've got a key, come through here, open the door. And just carry on now to the end. And there's going to be another boss fight which will get us another level up. And that should be level 72. So yeah, down the steps. Just follow the bottom of the ship. There's a safe point just up there. Which you can get on your way back. Yeah, Pip is there again. So I think with Pip, I don't think you have to release her from a cage for her to appear. Or maybe it's just a sort of continue plus sort of thing. Because you've already got these. I, I don't know. Um... But yeah, up here, you're going to fight the deadhead now. There'll be some more dialogue. So yeah, guys, get through this dialogue, beat the deadhead, and I'll see you at the end of that battle. Remember, after this one, you're probably going to have to go left to um, meet Fargo. Yep, so we got him. Um, level 72. Sweet. Okay, let's get through this dialogue and I'll pick it up back in your ship. Oh, no need, we're already here. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to head over to Gudolf and we're going to get another character. This should be character number 42. So come to the house near where you dock, um, this one here. I'm going to talk to Doc. We need to head right first and there'll be some dialogue. Yeah, so get through this and Doc should join after this party. You don't actually have to come back here. You can actually crack on with the story um, without having to come back here, um, but we have to come. We have to come back here to get this new character. Yeah, so some um, random ranger has saved her. Yeah, so shortly. Doc will join, like I say, this will be character number 42. There's only two left to get. One of them is Harley. Um, to get her, we just have to make a kill a boss for her in our party. And there we go, Doc. Yes, that's um, 42, guys. Sweet. And it's it's a bit weird, but he doesn't actually show up in, t in your party until you leave Gordolph. But we'll just get to world map and we'll just check just to make sure. Right, so it should be about good to go. Yeah, she'll give you the actual amulet. Yeah, so you finally got the actual amulet back. There we go. And once she's finished talking, come on, kid. I've heard it all before. There we go, kids rejoined our party. Oh, rejoice. Yeah, so you can see that dog's not actually in your party yet. Um, just like show up, show up until you get to world map. I don't know why. Um, just one of them things. Yeah, come, we'll come back to world map. We have to anyway. So once you've got Doc and uh, Kid back in your party, come back to your boat. And now just double check that Doc is in your party. Um, so what is it? Teleporter. And yes, see that he's there now. I don't know why he doesn't appear at first. Um, but yeah, he's there now. So now we're going to head into Mount Pier. So, Pier Shore all the way to the east. And I'm actually just going to make a save here. Just a, no just a normal save, not, not only a, a critical save or anything. Um, yeah, just a normal save I'm going to make. There we go. Okay, just in case anything goes wrong. Alright, so you're going to get three boss fights up here. Yeah, this is awesome, this bit, for him levelling up. You get three star, three star levels all in like a quick time frame as well so salt and pepper but if you if you go to the water dragon isle you don't actually get levels from these some some of these guys 
So yeah, beat up these pair of misfits. Yep, so you beat up them too. You should be 73 now, level 73, yeah. Yep, there we go. You've remembered on the first playthrough, they didn't give us a level. It, because it, it, it depends sometimes on um, all the stuff you do. Sometimes the star levels, they balance out depending on what route you take through the game. Um, Alright, so um, yeah, continue upwards. We're going to get in a fight with the um, fire dragon now. And he'll put us up to um, level 74. So yeah, beat up this bro guys, and um, I'll pick it up afterwards. Yep, we've got him. So yeah, 74. Mini dragon, I guess. Not bad. Yeah, continue onwards, and um, then you got three um, musketeers here. Yeah, take out these three guys, and I'll join you afterwards. Yeah, there we go, level 75. Okay, and just get a few more levels. We're just going to head into Fort Dragonia very briefly. Yep, so just go outside. Yeah, Harley would drop down. Just for a bit of dialogue. Say hello. Yeah, be a little cutscene. Yep, so after that cutscene, she's going to come into Fort Dragonia. Now, all we're going to do here, we're going to kill two bosses and then come back out and go and kill a big boss and get an ending. So yeah, over here, we're going to do the top left because we're pretty much doing the quickest two, which will get you to a boss quickly. So yeah, if you remember this one, all you got to do, come around here, press one of these chests to bring that down. Come across. Um, you need to put that one all the way down. So open one chest close to you there. And then you need to put this one up. So open one close to the other again. That's it. Then head all the way down. Press the shortcut switch. Come across here and beat a boss. Yeah, turn off the blue prism. Beat this boss, guys. And I'll pick it up afterwards. Yep, so once you beat that, you'll be another level. Nice, nice. Yeah, 76... You don't need to touch a prism. Just come back out. Yeah, all we're doing is just killing two enemies. Yeah, come back out. Uh, sorry, two bosses, should I say. Yeah, and then take the one on the top right. Wait for that robot. Just come up and go past. Otherwise, he's going to block your path. There we go. Just follow the route now all the way around and eventually lead you to a boss. Yeah, come right here. Um, here, head, head to the top left. Head upwards and then to the bottom right. Follow this path around. It should take to the shortcut switch. That one there. You can activate that. Yes, and then continue up here and you'll reach another boss. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, beat up this dude. Yep, now we've got him. Yep, level 77. Yep, so we're going to exit now and um, we're going to go back and uh, beat up the um, end boss. Yeah, so just make your way back, down the shortcut, back outside, back to your ship. Yeah, so just come all the way back out. It's not it's not a long way. Yeah, back to the world map. And now you can just go straight through uh, Mount Pier now. You don't have to actually enter it and then go back down to bottom exit. Yeah, there we go. Straight back to your ship. Board your boat. We're going to go into Oposa Beach. Yeah, just down here. So uh, dock at Arnie Village and then head left. And use your time egg. Yeah, back here. Yeah, so come down here and use the time egg, guys. And beat the last boss again. Yeah, so use the time egg. Make sure you're in the right place. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, to the darkness of time. 
Yes, a bit of the last boss, and I'll pick up afterwards. Yep, so we've just beat him. So eventually, after the um, the cutscenes, you should get a new ending. So yeah, just get through these cutscenes, guys. Yeah, this is similar to the one you should have. So very similar to this. I'll just leave this playing for a minute, um, just so you can see exactly what ending you should be experiencing. Uh, just make sure you're on the right track. And um, then you'll see me pop the trophy. I'll speed, I'll speed up a little bit as well, just so you can see. But yeah, kid will come into the shop. You'll be in there helping out. You'll come to the top of um, Fort Dragonia with pear and um, salt and pepper. Yep, yeah, and... Yeah, you shoot upon the teleporter. Yeah, this is there's actually two endings you can do this way. Um, there's one where you need Rastly and Nick in your party, um, and there's one where you can't. So that you get you'll get the shop staff and the three unlikely heroes. So yeah, that's the ending trophy you should have got for that one. So remember, always save your game. So um, we don't want to touch our crit critical save, so slot one. I'm just going to overwrite my um, earlier cleared save like normal. So we go, it's going to overwrite that. And you should be level 77 then, uh, now. And you'll be at the Fort Dragonia, the remains of ancient dragon streams. So that's where that save should be. Okay, so once you've made that save, we're going to do another ending now. Um, I thought I'd get three done in this video, but I think it's only going to be two. So yeah, we're just going to le uh, load up that cleared save again. So um, continue. Slot one. So it'll be that one. Star level 77 and Fort Dragonia. So load that one up. And then we're going to continue plus. Slot two. And the save we're loading now is it's going to be critical save number two. So you should be there, you should be level 10, uh, where that critical save was made. Um, level 10, from pirate ship to ghost ship, and a marina's worst nightmare. Yeah, that's one we're gonna be loading now, that crit critical save. Um, okay, so let's do it. Load it up. So continue plus on critical save number two. We've, you remember you're here, and let's get our party ready now. So we're gonna put um, Rasley and Nikki. So you've probably noticed we've lost Doc, we've lost um, Glenn and uh, Ma uh, Maka, but don't worry, we'll be getting them back later with the Chrono Cross. So we want Rusty and Nikki. Um, yep, and Nikki in your party. I don't think you need these in your party for the the ending, but I always lob them in anyway because I've also got the equipment. So put them in your party. Uh, then let's change our equipment. Um, so equip Sarge, and he wants the Spectra Swallow. There we go, yeah, put that on him. And you also want to give him some of the dragon scornlets. You've actually got quite a lot now. You can actually put some of these on your other party members. Uh, just to make him do even more damage. Yeah, so Rasli, she wants the... Floral Rod weapon. Or Rainbow Rod, I guess. Yeah, we'll go with the uh, rainbow rod. Yep, and you can put dragon scornet on him, on her, and um, some dragons on her to make it up, because we've not quite got enough. Put that on every single one. Yep, and then we're going to be Nikki. Equip. Yeah, on Nikki you want to put um, the rainbow pick. No, prison pick. That's one. So put prison pick on her, and again dragons gauntlet, and then dragons on her if you run out of gauntlets. There we go, we should get rid of the bosses really quickly now. Okay, so we're just gonna head up once you're ready. And uh, beat the deadhead, and that puts us at level 78. Yeah, so beat up this first enemy, then head left, interact with Fargo, beat up the deadhead, and I'll pick up at the end of the battle. Yeah, so we, we went down pretty quick.
Yeah, so level 78, that one. Yep, so um, after the Starlog, we spawn back in ship. And now we're going to head straight into Mount Pier. So before we went and got Doc, but we don't need to do that now. So we've already got him in our cleared safe once you use a Chrono Cross. Yeah, a little bit complicated, but it all makes sense eventually. Yeah, so now come straight into Mount Pier. Get straight in there. Yep, so we're going to get three more levels here really quickly, and then we're going to get two more from um, two bosses in Fort Dragonia. Yeah, so take out these two. Yeah, level 79, that one. Yeah, so head straight upwards, and eventually you'll engage the mini dragon. Yeah, we're just, doing, we're just doing now exactly what we did on the um, previous one at the end. Uh, previous continue plus. Difference now is like I said, we've got Rasly and Nikki in the party. And that gives you a different ending. Um, so yeah, up here, beat the mini dragon. That'll, that'll put you at level seven. Uh, sorry, level 80. And then once you beat up the mini dragon, carry on up. And then you have to fight Karsh, Zoa and Marshy again. So I'll get straight to the mini dragon and I'll pick it up after beating up Karsh, Zoa and Marcy. Alright, so um, level 81 now, just beat up um, Marcy in uh, her chumps. Yeah, so uh, after the dialogue with Harley, just come out in that exit there, fight to the ground you, get a little cutscene, which I will skip past. Yeah, after that, straight into Fort Dragonia. Yeah, so just gonna beat up them two bosses again, and they come back out, world map, and they go to the beach, use the time make, and beat up the time time boss. Yeah, but I, I like I like the idea of coming in here. It's a nice easy two levels. I mean, it's not as quick as amount them three amount here, but it's still very easy to get these. Yeah, so I'm sure you know what to do here by now. Been here enough times. Are we going to be coming here again? Yeah, believe it or not. Yeah, so beat up the um, the yellow blob. There we go. Well, the orange blob. Yep, yeah, Rim is toast. Yep, yeah, should put you at level 82, that one. Right, just come back out here afterwards. And uh, we're just taking that doorway on the top right next. Beat up the boss there, and then back to the wheel map. I think we're then coming in here one more time. Yeah, I think just one more time we're coming in here. Yeah, so we're just like normal, make sure that robot go past, otherwise he'll trap you and you have to engage him in battle. We've still got to do the 500 battles trophy. Um, I'm not sure how you're doing with that, uh, if you've just been doing what I'm doing, skipping battles. And you're going to sort of farm it at the end, AFK. Or if you've been doing just random battles all the time, popped it already. Um, yeah, I'm just doing it AFK. Uh, I'd, I'd rather just do that than, you know, spend enough few hours playing when I could just leave the controller and turbo. Yep, so uh, up here. Yep, beat the robot. Yep, we got him. Yeah, so that should put you at uh, level level 83. Yeah, so back to the world map now. Yeah, at least you don't have to keep watching the credits every time. Imagine that, every time you got an ending, you had to watch credits. Yep, so back to world map. Again, you can just skip straight through Mount Pier, which is what we did last time. Yeah, so just back in your boat. And over to Arnie Village, and then left into the beach. I'm going to use a time egg. Yep, so come to the pink aura. Time egg. There we go. To the darkness of time. Yeah, so beat him up and uh, we'll trigger the next ending.
Yeah, so we got it. As you can see, it's dying. It's dying much quicker now. Yeah, much quicker. This boss fight's getting much quicker just because our, our level. I'm not even sure what level that thing's supposed to be. Yeah, so this first scene is very similar to um, that one before, but it will be different. You can see Sarge isn't actually in the back of her this time, but um, that other ending, Sarge was in the back. So yeah, but after that, see, it's different now. So um, yeah, you'll get through this. Yeah, so the start starts off the same as the previous ending, but um, after that, it's different. So yeah, they're watching the Magical Dreamers. Yeah, so pretty much you see the Magical Dreamers play. Yeah, this one's for having uh, Nikki and Rastly in your party. Yeah, like I said, I don't think they have to be on your current party when you beat the boss. I think they just have to be sort of recruited into your current um, roster. Yeah, so you pretty much see what this ending is going to be like. So um, I'll skip ahead a little bit to where the trophy pops. Yep, there we go. The Magical Dreamers. So it's not long after. I mean, it's not a long ending. But yeah, Magical Dreamers, that's another ending trophy out of the way, guys. Yeah, so after that, as always, save your game um, in slot one. I'm just going to overwrite my previous cleared save. So that's my current save. Um, start level 83. And it's at Fort Dragonia. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it there for that video, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.